Welcome to the viewers of viewers. Today I am going to present about the CAB BFM Balance Sheet Management Module D. Topic is Risk Adjusted Return on Capital. This is most important topic for the CAB and bank promotional exam also. In all banks promotional examinations, they are asking this question along with the CAB examinations. Okay, then RAROC, Risk Adjusted Return on Capital. Risk Adjusted Return on Capital better describes RAS allows one to compare two business, two business segments with different risk. Because this is useful to compare the two business units with different risk volatility of returns. So, expected return changes in two business units, it will better describes the key factor and the most reliable tool in investment decisions is RVROC. At the time of investment or financing decision, RVROC is one of the most reliable as of today almost all banks at the time of sanctioning a project loans or term loans or investment at the time of making investments they are seeing this REROC calculating risk adjusted return on capital. There are two fundamental drivers for REROC areas as follows. Risk management, this will be useful risk management and performance evaluation. One is risk management, another one is performance evaluation of our investments or advances, project appraisal, term loans, etc. So, in both the cons, Risk management as well as performance evaluation, this ROC is very useful. Higher the ROC, it is the reward for the investing bank. So, whenever you are getting higher ROC, that the bankers, they are expecting that higher return from that investment, either in the investments or from the advances also. RAROC is decided by banks. It is RAROC decided by banks at the time of formulation of their loan policy or credit policy. And it is decided by the top management of the bank. And normally this is decided in advance during the beginning of the year. So, RAROC it is a, one of the key element in considering the loans or investments decided by the top management. What is the formula for RAROC? Formula. Revenues means revenues from that investment or account or minus expenditure related to that investment or expenditure and minus expected losses if any. Expected losses if any you have to deduct from revenues minus expenditure minus expected losses divided by economic capital economic capital. So, normally in our today example, we are treating that expected loss is no expected loss from our example, in our example. That is it. What is meant by economic capital? Is the amount of risky capital that a bank estimates in order to be remain solvent. It means that for continuity of the banking business, bank must maintain some capital that is called economic capital. To, to remain solvent means to meet all the type of risks, you have to maintain some capital that is called economic capital. So, if the amount of risk capital that a bank estimates in order to remain solvent, in order to remain continuity at a given confidence level and a time horizon, one year, two years, three years, that is there. So, this is the economic capital. Now, RAROC uses advantages in a loans proposal, either accept the proposal or reject the proposal. For accepting or rejection of the proposal, we are using REROC. Loan pricing, if risk is more, we are 
charging more rate of interest that is called loan pricing structuring collateral if the risk is more in the account we will insist more collateral in the account that is called structuring collateral then leverage risk is less we can improve we can go de ratio debt to equity ratio higher times risk is high we can reduce our leverage it reduce our leverage means we cannot go more finance in the accounts you will restrict our exposure to a limited extent so leverage means that is debt to equity when high risk is there you will reduce our exposure low risk is there we can increase our exposure that is leverage normally as of today bankers are not interested to go for high leverage companies compare profitability across business segments suppose two proposals are there before us in which proposal we are getting more rroc that we can go finance for that proposal in which proposal we are getting lesser rroc normally we are going to decline that proposal so this is the comparison of decisions between two investment segment means two bit two between two proposals or one one investment one loan proposal or two investment proposal or two loan proposal also we can compare the profitability that is the. then in decision making rroc may be adopted as a thumb rule if rroc is more than cost of capital that is a valuation to the bank risk adjusted return on capital is more than cost of capital there is a valuation to the bank so the cost of capital also decided by the bank this is the average cost of capital of the bank almost all banks they are calculating the average cost of capital based on their capital structure so if we are getting a risk adjusted return on capital is more than bank's cost of capital then only it is a valuation then only the banks are going to interested to invest in that investments or sanction the proposal so thumb rule is rrvs is more than bank's cost of capital then bankers are going to consider the proposal if rrvs is less than bank's cost of capital that the bankers are not going to any valuation there <coughs> that is going to destroy the bank's um it's a value that's why bankers are not going to this rrvs is just cost of capital we are maintaining capital as of today bankers are also not interested in this proportion also because you are taking risk that risk is equivalent to our cost of capital that's why there is no uh, favorable valuation under this proportion also that's why rrvs is more than bank's cost of capital then it is a valuation bankers are in a position to invest the bank's money either in investments or in advances then rroc case study rroc case study five marks sometimes five marks they are asking or times time sometimes they are asking one or two marks question what is the question abc bank limited want to sanction a project finance loan of 100 crores abc bank limited want to sanction a project finance of 100 crores to a a rated company 100 crore they want to sanction under project finance rate re, external rating of the company is a rating rate of interest from the account the bank is getting 13% per annum and external rated company a a rated company rate of interest 13% this is the income which the bank is getting from the advance cost of capital of the bank which was decided based on the average cost of capital that is 10% example in this example we are taking bank's average cost of capital which was calculated by the bank internally that is 10% now calculate rroc in this account now yearly interest income from the company advance is 100 crores into 13% we are getting interest income 13 crores from this sanction since it is a a rated company 
you have to maintain capital based on risk weighted assets of the company since it is a external rated doubly rated company risk weight is 30% risk weight is 30% risk weighted assets in this account is 100 crores into 30% risk weighted assets is 30 crores risk weighted assets are 30 crores on risk weighted assets of 30 crores you have to maintain capital adequacy as per RBI stipulation. Now, as of today, what is the capital requirement for Indian banks as per Basel III compliance? That is 10.875% of risk weighted assets. The breakup of 10.875 is called common equity tier 1 capital, 5.5% of risk weighted assets plus additional tier 1 capital, 1.5% of risk weighted assets, tier 2 capital, 2% of risk weighted assets. Tire 2 capital, 2% of risk weighted assets and CCB, capital conservation buffer is 1.875% of risk weighted assets. So total 5.5 plus 1.5 plus 2 plus 1.875 that is 10.875 as, as of today the capital requirement is 10.875 of risk weighted assets. Now, total risk weighted assets in this borrowable account is 30 crores into 10.875%. So, capital requirement in this account to that particular ABC bank is 3 crores 26 lakhs 25,000. The capital requirement for this finance toward the Basel 3 requirement is 30, 2, 3 crores 26 lakhs 25,000. Now, what is the cost of capital? This already we had a uh, Discussed the cost of capital is already average cost of capital of the bank is 10 percent. On 3 crore 26 lakh 25,000, the bank is paying, the bank cost is incurring 32 lakhs 62,500. 3 crore 26 lakh 25,000 into 10 percent is equal 32 lakhs 62,500. The bank is incurring an expenditure toward the supplier of the capital. That is the 10 percent. So, now you will calculate the ROC of the project finance. We are getting an interest income of 13 crores. This is 13 crores. Less cost of capital which the bank is incurring on this account is 32 lakhs 62,500. So, what is the after cost of capital risk adjusted return from this account is 12 crores. 67 lakhs 37,500. Subject to there is no other loss in this account. Subject to one assumption that there was no other loss in this account. Now, now risk adjusted return from this account we are getting 12 crores 67 lakhs 37,500 divided by our investment, our advance is 100 crores into 100. Then ROC is 12.67%. ROC is 12.67%. Now, what is the thumb rule under ROC for sanction of the proposal is equal to? If ROC is more than cost of capital, ROC from this proposal is 12.67. This 12.67 is more than cost of capital of 10%. Then this is a valuation to the bank by 2.67%. 2.67%. That's why, as per this ROC rule, if ROC is more than cost of capital, the bank can go for sanction of the proposal. Definitely, this is a valuation to this to the ABC bank. If the ROC is coming less than 10%, that is no valuation to the bank. Further, the bank is not going to sanction this loan. This is about the REROC case study. Very important bank's internal promotions as well as CIB, uh, um, BFM question paper. Now, please sub subscribe our YouTube channel for JAB, CIB and promotional exam videos.